All right, today is Thursday. It is a fresh start. I'm going to call the RSPCA Pet Insurance and lodge my claim for um, Giuseppe's um, uh, scans and blood tests and, and um, x-rays. Now, one of my themes for 2019 was less is better and focusing around less distractions, better time, less chemicals, better home, um, uh, like less spending, better investing, and I'm really determined to take this through into as many parts of my life, particularly around the chemicals and things I bring into my home, what I eat, the way I exercise, the way I spend, um, uh, just really kind of go quite deeply with this. Anyway, this week we have run out of uh, body wash, and one of the things that I'm trying to do is use less chemicals, so really natural products at home. We've already started using um, the Mugu products, uh, which are amazing, really great for psoriasis, eczema, dandruff, because um, that's something I suffer from. And it has run out. You can buy this up in price line. It's not actually not expensive. But what I thought would be a really great idea for Frugal February, instead of buying some more of this, um, I'm actually going to make um, homemade coffee body scrub. Now, Rocco actually made this for me at his daycare last year and it was absolutely amazing they made it out of coffee from the pods which are just here and um, and then use the coconut oil um and I think brown sugar and a few things so we're going to make that tonight so that's going to probably save me about eight or nine dollars in body wash and i love this body wash so much because you didn't actually need to put moisturizer on after your shower because it was so um, hydrating from the coconut oil um, also, on another note, I'm really trying to be much healthier with what I eat. I don't eat breakfast because I generally fast, however, at the moment I am having a little bit of breakfast if I feel like it. And one thing I have become obsessed with is the Healthy Chef Organic Superfood Powder. So you put it in, um, this is actually vanilla yogurt, I put it on top and you just mix it in, it goes bright pink. It is so delicious. It's full of beetroots, carrots, apples, berries. Broccoli, spinach, um, like all these amazing vegetables. It is so good for you. And I'm trying to get Rocco onto this as well. So I thought this would be a great way to try to get more vegetables and vitamins and nutrients into him. So definitely check out the Healthy Chef. But I'm going to report back to a few other frugal tips that I'm working towards. So on Thursdays, I actually shout the girls in the office lunch by me organizing lunch and giving it to them at their desk. It means we can all work really efficiently. We always work hard, but it's important to work smart as well. So today, I don't actually need to pack my lunch because I'm um, the business is paying for lunch for everyone. But to try and reduce our waste, I'm actually I've got my metal chopsticks with me for everyone, and I'm actually going to ask for our local cafe whether I can borrow their bowls if I promise to return them back so that we're not using any unnecessary um, plastic containers, wooden chopsticks, or plastic spoons. I'll let you know how I got. Well, that was so much easier than they thought. They loved the idea and said there was no problem for me take their bowls and plates and return them back and they love that we were doing a zero waste challenge for the month so woohoo I think I might try and do this all the time now that I know they're so supportive of this actually all the cafes should be doing this God, we just reduce so much waste good news my phone has been fixed it only took two hours waiting at um, Apple in Bondi Junction so you can hear me nice and clearly again so for Frugal February, I've become really aware of some of the household expenses that are sort of getting out of hand. And one thing I'm cracking down on is goat's cheese. We would buy this Meredith Valley goat's cheese, which is seriously so good. Probably one to two jars of these a week, and they're about $12 each, which is just ridiculous. So in an attempt to not just save money for Frugal February, but beyond, I'm actually making my own Labna. And the recipe I have well, I've been inspired by Teresa Carter's um, cookbook, The Healthy Chef, and it is absolutely amazing. And it actually looks really easy. Um, fingers crossed I can't stuff this up, but I'm actually going to be cooking a small dinner party tonight from this cookbook. I'm not only really inspired, but I'm actually really excited, and I hate cooking normally. It is early Sunday morning and Rocco and Tom are still fast asleep, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to have some very much needed time alone to myself so i've grabbed the dogs we've come down to um, one of our local dog friendly beaches and i'm trying to get some weight off giuseppe um basically the we he's not responding to any of the medication um and our only option now is surgery it's major surgery where they 
fuse together his joints so we really want to try and avoid that as much as possible but you guys have sent me the most amazing um, products like alternative products to buy um, such as Sasha's blend which I've ordered it's on its way and um, we gonna, Tom's gonna do acupuncture on him and um, I'm also going to get as much weight off this dog as possible so that he's no longer in pain but um, he's we're down at the beach and he's looking pretty happy if you ask me now this was a dog that was in so much pain he couldn't actually stand up to eat his dinner and at home he's, he's in so much pain he can't actually greet me at the door so seeing him so happy right now even though the excitement is probably pushing through the pain is all worth it so I'm gonna sit here and just enjoy these the, this time alone with them as much as possible so I am on my fifth trip to my local supermarket this week alone now I have been really frugal with the exception of a few cheeky muffin purchases here and there when I was having a bad day and a three pack pair of socks for Tom I have been really strict but I think with Rocco now starting school and needing a packed lunch every day and Tom wanting a packed lunch as well every day my food bill is skyrocketing so it's made me realize I need to look at my budget, I need to look at my shopping routine, and I need to revisit uh, my food planning and my food preparation because I this is not efficient use of my time going to the supermarket that many times. And it is actually starting to eat in, like kind of eat into all the, my frugalness because all the money I'm saving from not doing some things are being eaten up in groceries alone. I really want to get to the end of the month and be proud of what I've saved. So we have actually had a pretty frugal Sunday. Tom tried to suggest that we go to brunch today, but I said, no, it's frugal February. So he came home and we all cooked brunch together at home. It was delicious. And then we went to Clove Valley Beach. We got spent $6 on icy poles and now it's dinner time. So I had these great intentions of making a vegetarian lasagna, but to be honest, I'm too tired. And I just don't feel like cooking and I don't feel like cleaning up. So we went to our local deli and I still spent money, but it's not too bad. It's, this was $22.95, but it's for all natural ingredients. There's no preservatives, flavorings, anything like that. And this will be good for dinner tonight. And I think with my leftover salads from last night, enough for Tom and I to take this to work tomorrow for lunch. Now I had Rocco with me and he eyed off some chocolate chip cookies and I couldn't say no. So um, we have a box of cookies. Now these were expensive. These were $10, but uh, it's done now. Um, we'll have to make sure they last for the rest of the week. So, um, and we'll be rationing that sugar supply for the rest of the week. But you know what? A pretty frugal Sunday. So I'm really proud. The other night I made the most delicious, healthy, and pretty darn frugal um, snapper tomato bake. And I made it for my friends and Tom, who never ever compliments my cooking, said it was excellent and restaurant quality. And this is probably, I think, the third meal I've made from this cookbook, which I'm absolutely loving. And um, I actually emailed the team at The Healthy Chef just to say thank you and like how impressed I was of how easy and healthy and delicious. And they said, um, we'd actually like to send you a copy of this book to give away to your viewers. So if you would like to win a copy of this book, and it is absolutely amazing and beautifully shot and easy to follow, trust me, I know. Um, what I would like you to do is put a comment in the comment box below. I'd like you to share with me your healthiest but most frugal um, meal that you make to help save money. And I will pick the best winner and you will get a copy of this book and you, I promise you, you will absolutely love it. But for people who are interested in having a look inside this book anyway, I will also link where you can buy it because it is fantastic. I'm actually gonna make um, next week vegetarian lasagna, so stay tuned. So I've just had a workout and normally I go and grab a juice, maybe a protein ball, but nope, because it's frugal February, so saving money. So today I've had to come home early from work. I have this raging head cold um, and my sinuses are completely blocked. So I am going to try and find the spiciest, hottest, but most budget friendly po fur that I can find in Sydney and not feel guilty about this because I need something to clean out these sinuses. Otherwise I'm not going to be able to get back to work. 
So one thing I've realized from doing Frugal February is I'm quite mindless with my consumption of coffee. Yes, I save money by having a coffee at home, which is great, but I'm catching myself just having coffee at home because I can. And these do, these are very cost effective, but they still add up. Now on the note of zero waste, did you know you can recycle these? So as you guys know, I've been cutting open what's inside these um, and putting them in um, Rocco's and my homemade body scrub. But this is apparently awesome for your garden. So I could also throw this on the garden and, um, and still take the alley melon containers to be recycled. So this is really good to know because previously I used to throw them out and we all need to do our bit. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. So this is a particularly frugal Valentine's Day for me. Rocco is with his dad and Tom is in Melbourne and I'm having a pre-made um, speedy bolognese that I made a while ago, which I've just fished out of the freezer. Being home by myself, I didn't even bother putting it on a plate. I'm eating it out of the Tupperware container. I, am, uh, I have Giuseppe and Sophia at my feet. <laughs> and tonight I actually have parent-teacher interviews. So technically my Valentine evening is going to be spent with Miss Black. Rocco's school teacher, but at least it's a very frugal evening for me and I've barely spent anything.